is head of the Medusa. It's one of the favorites here in the museum because it's so scary. It's just the head, not the story. So it's more a still life of this myth. We can see the head and a lot of snakes coming out of the head. She was in former times very beautiful, the Medusa, but a goddess punished her. Her look is dead. All down. The painting is full of snakes. Rubens asked his colleague Franz Snyders to paint these reptiles as Snyders was the best in the world at that. Before Medusa died, her hair consisted of living venomous snakes, and most of them are still alive here. Some of the snakes have detached and are trying. Hunted by many warriors who wished to claim the prize of her head. Many tried and many failed, turned to stone with just a glance at her hideous face. Medusa was not always considered a monster. In fact, it was quite the opposite. She was the only mortal of three sisters born to four keys and Sito, two of the primordial sea gods. Born on June 28, 1577, Flemish artist Peter Paul Rubens was one of the most celebrated and prolific artists in Europe during his lifetime as well as the entire Baroque era. His patrons included royalty and churches, and his art depicted subjects from religion. His